What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Today, guys, unfortunately, we're talking about a sad story. In fact, let me get some sad music here, okay? This is like uh, a typical hood rat story that we typically hear. Young lady warned not to date one guy. The guy has four kids by four different women. She knows the guy has four, keep the music going, four kids by four different women she doesn't listen to what everybody has to say she goes and deals with the guy gets pregnant by the guy knowing the guy will not commit to her has a baby shower and then all the other sisters congratulate her on the thottery isn't that great doesn't that doesn't that sound a lot like what you see on facebook brothers you know sisters who get pregnant by a man that they don't know really don't know well the man has no intention in being in their life they get pregnant have the baby then they go onto facebook talking about day music oh my god i'm pregnant i'm 18 months pregnant with my baby uh, it's just me and him against the world or me and her little quante the yes and you have all these you know, Laquisha, Tonisha, Tata Isha, Brenda. They be like, take music. Oh, oh, girl, you look so cute with your baby bump. You look so cute, girl. You look so cute, girl. And, and you're congratulating her for doing nothing because now officially she's a single mother. The child has absolutely really no chance in life to be as productive as he would be if the father was there and you know this is what you this is what you get all right this is what you get i'm i'm saying this is because this was happening to yaya mayweather all right here's a young lady the father is rich she has every opportunity to be something else in life but she doesn't choose that because she would rather thought it up all right she gets pregnant by NBA young boy, a guy who she stabs his other baby mama in Houston, gets a case for it. He disses her, disrespects her father. She rewards him by letting him get her pregnant. You can't make this shit up. Then she holds a struggle ass online baby shower. Okay. Okay. People say she spent over a hundred thousand dollars on the sh on the shower, and hired a videographer to live stream it for Instagram. She owns over ten Hermes bag, okay, Birkins. Um, the collection's worth over two hundred thousand dollars. But this baby shower—if you look in the back—it it looks very ghetto, okay. And when you look at Yaya Mayweather, she looks like Floyd Mayweather, you know, very much so. But she's not an ugly young lady, you know. I, I I think she's she's small, but attractive. But what this shows, number one, we we got to stop celebrating people just because they get pregnant. Baby showers. There are a lot of baby showers in ghetto Black America. Celebrating the fact, and this is all liberal stuff, right? Now, let me get, let me let me let me tell you this: like children, some people say are a blessing from God. If those children are born out of a marriage, okay, in my opinion, because if it's a blessing of God, then then the blessing must have come in a marriage of God, right? So you know these children that are being born out of wedlock with the father not going to be there, um, it's no disrespect to those kids, but they're going to come up with a tougher life. And in liberal America now, we're always celebrating 
the things that people do that hurt the community. All right. It's not only, you know, I, I see this more in America. I don't see it as much here in, in Africa, but I think that happens. I, I heard about, I think Jonita was telling me that she knew about somebody that was uh, having a baby shower. Um, a young lady got pregnant by a Turkish guy. And the Turkish guy got her pregnant and then left her. And she had a baby shower. I found it to be very, very interesting because you're having a baby shower and a guy left you. You have no way to support this child. I mean, you do have a baby somebody light skinned it, but that's it. You know? And the thing about it is, is that, you know, a lot of times we celebrate mediocrity or subpar behaviors in black communities. Like Yaya Mayweather has no reason to celebrate. Your baby daddy has four other babies by, well, now you're the fifth one. Okay. You stabbed the other chick and it doesn't, it doesn't make you look good. You look like an idiot. And every time I would see these baby showers being on Facebook, which is why I stopped being on Facebook because Facebook had too much Negro stuff for me. I'm sorry. I had to leave it alone. I, it was too many thoughts on there. Too much buffoonery, too much sandaling it up, too much weaving it up. Too much starting it up. I couldn't, even for me, it was a lot. It was too much. I had to log off because it was too much celebrating stupid shit for me. I'm sorry. I just can't deal. And Yaya Mayweather looks like a buffoon. You're you're very pregnant, okay? The child will never know its father, will never have a, a, a real man in his life. And just because your father is rich, that the, you've also taken away the opportunity for you to get a guy who's actually going to be there for you. Because you don't even care about yourself and your body enough for you to even get a man to marry you. Which is another thing that happens. You know, nowadays in, in this situation, and people will go out and blame Trump. They'll blame racism. But nobody can blame you for the guys that you deal with. All right? When you deal with guys who are stupid, who cannot read, who cannot write, who are sandaling it up. All right? Who are buffoons who don't care, all right? Then what do you expect? That's, that's the, that's the, that, that is the issue that I'm having here, all right? That is the issue that I'm having here. Is that, you know, you, 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 you want to cry about what's going on, but you have no problem Getting pregnant by somebody who who already lets you know, hey, I'm not gonna be a I'm not gonna be a father to your baby. I'm not gonna be in your life. I won't be here. But I want to brag to the world about getting pregnant. You look stupid. You look dumb. Let me read some of these comments, okay? Dang music. All that money Yaya Mayweather got around and she's still stupid and ghetto. Ew. Stop the show. See, people are recognizing the buffoonery. Dating music. Yaya, baby, shower was very ghetto. Next person says this. Dating music. Y'all can't get mad at nobody for saying Yaya, baby, shower was ghetto as, as F. She should have put that money she put in her purse in that ghetto mess. Who has a baby shower with the baby daddy everywhere she gave him an album release look like? Dang music! Yeah, yeah, baby. Shower was ghetto. I'm sorry, girl. Tell you, daddy, sorry. <sighs> oh. Yeah, that's how it always looks. It looks bad. It looks terrible. And when black men want to point this out, we get called, you know, names. I'm so glad that sisters called this out because it's exactly what it needs to be said. It's ridiculous. It's, it's sad, it's buffoonery, it's debauchery, it's ridiculousness, and it, 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 it is just what it is, guys. I'm really tired of the sandaling up, all right? All of this sandaling has to stop, brothers. It has to stop. So, guys, it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode. 
of that celebrity junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all time high. Check out the Black Minute Perfect t shirts. Check out the Patreon. We're out. Peace.